so just leaving memory services. So a couple of things that um, this trip has highlighted to me, and one is, um, I know Elon In watches my channel feet, all the time. Stay straight um, to take the M4. Yeah, let me turn that down, I think. Yeah, um, if Elon is watching, the sat nav, it, I, it's starting to become a little bit irritating. Now stay straight to I, take But not irritating, because I love the car, but it just doesn't feel to me like it's the sort of sat nav we should have in you know what is an incredible car and a couple of simple changes in my eyes i'm sure it's much more complicated but a couple of simple changes would make all the difference to the sat nav earlier on in this video you'll have seen that when i left home and set off um, I actually put in the destination that I went to in London and it, it, it was fine, it said yeah you're fine, you can go, off you go and you're going to get there with 5% battery left but you can't travel over 75 miles an hour, not that I do I should add. But to me that just is a bit mad that it didn't even offer me the option to stop at a supercharger on that trip. And it didn't offer me the option to say actually it's a return trip because if I was able to do that then I'm sure the sat nav would have said well you need to do a stop on the way there and a stop on the way back so even if I was able to and this, this baffles me but I can't add way waypoints to the sat nav in the Tesla so if I could have done that maybe I could have you know just put the destination as a waypoint on a, a trip from my house to my house or so I don't know but really what it should do is what the, the um, zap what they call it the, the, the other app you know that um, which I've had to use really to plan where to stop on the way out um, so it, it's just annoying really a couple of other little things that I've noticed on this trip with the sat nav as well at one point on the A329 I haven't captured it on camera which is a shame I was on the A329 which takes me to the M4 to go home to South Wales and it told me to come off the moat, the, it was a dual carriageway stroke motorway, it's a dual carriageway, it asked me to come off down to the roundabout underneath the motorway and back up the other side, back onto the road I was already on. And I, like a fool, followed it because I thought, oh, it must be taking me off somewhere else to do a shortcut, you know, it's obviously, it's, you know, it's not that, it's clever, you know, we've got to follow it. And so it ended up just taking me off the motorway and then put me back on the same motorway. Crazy. And then one thing I did capture on camera, although it's still on my iPhone, was I was coming up a slip road off a motorway, coming up to the roundabout, and the diagram, I'm in the UK by the way, and in the UK we approach a roundabout and we go left around the roundabout. Uh, I was taking the first, first exit off left, but yet the diagram showed me going right around the roundabout and taking the third exit off. Uh, I managed to get a still of that, so I'll put it up on screen now. Crazy. And those couple of little things just make me think, oh, you know, they need to allocate somebody in Tesla HQ to work on the sat nav because it's such a shame. I want to use the sat nav in here all the time because you know it's awesome it looks incredible it's a, it's the heart of the car um, and you know to not be able to use it on a, on a trip like today I shouldn't have to use any other app I shouldn't have to go to that zap whatever it's called and use that to find out which chargers to use I should just be able to use this um, and it shouldn't be doing things like showing you a diagram to go the wrong way around a roundabout. It shouldn't be taking you off a dual carriageway down to a roundabout and back up the other side, back onto the same dual carriageway. Um, and it, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm moaning. I, you know, I'm not a moany type of person. Um, but it just, it, just a few little frustrations, really, that to me seem to be things they should be getting, getting right, really. 
and now and again, and I did put a post on a forum about this a little while ago, you very often approach a roundabout and it'll say take the second exit, but actually the diagram is showing you the first exit, and it is in fact the first exit you should be taking, but the voice says take the second exit. And to me, these are little things that just, um, that you know, just need, should, should, should be fixed. Um, but there we are. I'm stepping off my soapbox because um, that wasn't the purpose of this video. The purpose of the video was to say, you know, what it's like living with an EV on a day when you've got to drive to London and back 315 miles in a day. And I've got to say, it's a, it's a doddle. Um, you know, it really is. It's a pleasure. I really enjoy it. It makes you stop now and again to take a break, which, let's face it, you should anyway. Um, and, it, and it really is not, it's a non-issue, it's a non-issue to have an EV on a trip, or certainly to have a Tesla on a trip like today. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little video and you've enjoyed this little trip with me from South Wales to London and back in a day. Um, if you have, then please do like the video if you have liked the video. Please do subscribe, hit the little blue icon, bell icon, so that you'll get notified of any future videos. And um, thank you once again for watching and hope to catch up with you very 